guys. So today I'm here with AF Sister Wig. Again, you know AF Sister Wig be on one be on my faves list. I genuinely love my AF Sister Wigs. So let's get into it. Okay, so the wig is right here, which we're gonna get into. And then we have some goodies here. So I got a pair of wig caps. Also got an edge brush and comb. I have some pins, which are gonna come in very handy. I also have a clip and that's everything that came in the packaging along with the wig of course so let's go ahead and get into what we got today so basically today's wig that we're working with is AF sister invisible strap wig now this is basically like a full lace wig and this has like an elastic portion within the cap now as you can see it's like two different tones but you could easily like it's two different tones but i love the fact that this part is stretchable inside of the cap has a total of four combs and there is the invisible strap in the back of the wig so instead of a adjustable strap the two adjustable straps they added this invisible strap in the back which i absolutely love i think it's so discreet now unlike any other wig or 360 wig that you have where where it's a regular um adjustable strap it might be a little visible at times after you style it into an updo with the invisible strap it's invisible it says it all it's very discreet you will not see this once it's adjusted you know so that's what is the star of the show with this wig the invisible strap and just basically you being able to do an updo without the back looking unnatural basically so i love that as i said it's a whole 360 wig cap construction and it has an adjustable strap within the cap so you can go ahead and hook it wherever you wish to and the front is um already pre-plucked that looks so good the lace is pre-bleached so you don't have to worry about going in and doing that i feel like AF sister wig always spend over time to really customize their wigs and i absolutely love that it is a glueless wig you can feel free to go ahead and style this wig in a updo without having to use any glue and we're gonna get into that in a few it's perfect for my beginners and that's the reason why this kind of wig is a win the texture of this wig that we're working with today is a nice curly texture the color is a 1b color and it is 20 inches long all the specifications will be listed down below so please go ahead and check that out so you can check down there for the density as well i'm gonna go ahead and just cut away the lace in the very back right here I'm just gonna adjust this to my hairline and get it you know fitting now you know you need to always ensure that the area around your ear is sitting comfortably so it's really good to just cut that area in a u-shaped start cutting that And you see once you align it properly it sits comfortably around here and that hairline looks so good i absolutely love that do the same thing for the next side i'm going to cut away the excess lace okay remember this is still for a beginner so we want to slim simple i'm still simplifying everything as much as possible for you guys I'm using my regular spray which is my style fixer lace bond spray from red red by kiss okay Cause we on the top 
So I'm gonna just go ahead. I know it's casty, but I'm gonna fix that with some powder later on. I'm gonna go ahead and melt this down with this elastic band for like a good 10 minutes before I proceed to adjusting my invisible strap in the back of the wig. And then we're gonna proceed to doing or a little updo. I want to do just, you know, my signature thing when I do an updo. I'm going to do my night messy bun. Um, so, yeah. That is... That's all it's going to be to it. It's not hard at all. As you guys saw, I just used some spray for the front. No glue. It's completely glueless. So, that's good. And, yeah. I just feel like... I wanted to use the spray to um, for this installation because it will help with stability even more because it's a bond that we're about to do and at the end of the day we want ultimate security even though we're not going the route of using glue so I'm gonna let this melt for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna come back. everything is melted and looking good and laid so I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the comb in the back and this is the, the adjustable strap is on so all you need to do right all you need to do is literally adjust the bit here there's a tiny piece here and that's what controls how tight you can make the wig cap be on your head so i'm adjusting this and just pulling it upwards so simple one is gonna recognize you can barely even see this right i literally have to move closer to the camera for you to see and just use the comb to stick into the back of my head and that's literally it that's literally it it's very undetectable what i'm gonna proceed to do is just put this up in a a higher button but first, let me just go ahead and kind of tie my elastic band around the perimeter of the wig to just continue melting it in the meantime now that I've adjusted the back. So you could feel free to go ahead and explore different styles with it. So I'm going to part it in the back. In the back portion of this cap construction is a little darker because of this stretchy elastic portion of the cap as opposed to the regular whole lace wig cap constructions so you will see that in an upcoming video like the difference so yeah but you could still feel free to go ahead and explore styling this different ways okay but yeah now that i show you guys that like you literally can part it anywhere within the cap like top tier now let's make let's do the ponytail And they do have like little baby hairs in the box. I don't know if you guys can see, but oh, we are looking cute. We're looking so cute and melted. What? You see how this is melted? And it's glueless. Look at that little cute bun. Let's get let's give the back the back view. So discreet, so discreet. Like what? I absolutely love it. Mm. This wig is a win. I ten out of ten highly recommend. Like the lace melted so beautifully. Like it looks like scalp. Like you know that little thing that doesn't look too uniform in the hairline. That makes it look even more realistic. I love it, and I just did my cyborgs. That's it. Like the entire thing looks so good. The back, the invisible strap is doing it. You cannot detect a strap, and that's what I love. Little baby hairs, that little messy vibe. Like, oh my gosh, the texture of the wig. Oh, it's 
amazing it's beautiful af sister wig you guys did a great job i 10 out of 10 recommend if you guys are looking for a really nice realistic um 360 uh, discreet 360 wig full lace wig at that this is it this is it i'm gonna be sure to put the direct link to this week in my description box so please go ahead check it out as i said before everything that you need to know is listed down below any deals anything going on will be listed all right that's it for today's wig look uh you can tell how excited i am i am pleased i'm pleased i'm pleased <laughs> but yeah that's it and i'll see you guys in my next video so until then just go and pick up on yourself bye